Jayalía, yo era concejal de Jayalía antes de ser representante estatal. Jayalía siempre se ha, se ha conocido como la ciudad del progreso. Esta ciudad no se queda atrás. Y no se queda atrás por los logros que ha hecho nuestro alcalde, José de la Cruz. Y ahora les quiero presentar al alcalde de la copy of the tape to show my wife. <laughs> I, all kidding aside, thank you so very much for giving me this great recognition. I feel truly proud to be here today. But I always realize that the real heroes and leaders of our community are the residents of our community. People who live paycheck to paycheck to find a way to survive. A lot of you that are here and sometimes have to work 12 hour days but find the time to be here. People like Italia, Maria, Jesus, who are the real heroes of our community who were the first wave of immigrants who paved the way for people like Katie and people like myself to get to accomplish the things we've been able to accomplish. And the one thing my parents always taught me is that being successful is not how much money you make, or what title you have, what connections you have, but giving 100% to anything you do in life. And that has always been my philosophy. And I remember a few years back when I finished law school after going to school for 32 years, I have been married to my wife, I'm still married to my my first wife, still married to her, uh, for 12 years. I finished law school and I remember telling my wife that I was thinking of going to med school and she almost killed me. Because I have been going to school for 32 years and I didn't get to spend that much time with her. But I've always felt that my parents left their families behind in Cuba and came to this country to give me the opportunity they didn't have. And I feel like this country, this nation, which by the way I feel is the greatest nation in the world, the best country in the universe, It's the best country and the best nation in the universe because of people like you, not people like me. I'm fortunate enough to be mayor of the city, and I was fortunate enough to go to law school, but I couldn't do it without the help of my parents. I couldn't do it without the help of people like Maria, Italia, Jesus, who were the first immigrants that came to this country, didn't know English. Most people here were American, were not Hispanic, and they paved the way for people like us. And I am always extremely proud when I come to events like this And I always feel a little bit ashamed to be up here and get out of work because I don't feel like I deserve it. I feel like I'm just a product of the older generation. I'm a product of my parents. And those are the people that really deserve it. You are the people that really deserve it. The staff that works here, who knows that working here is more than just a job, who knows that they have a real impact in the daily lives of the people that live here because they live here, of the daughters and sons and grandchildren who come here to make sure that their parents, their grandparents, don't feel alone and don't feel lonely. Those are the true heroes. Those are the real heroes. But I am extremely grateful and honored. And I now belong to the Hall of Fame Cafe of uh, uh, Waterford. But Waterford belongs to the Hall of Fame of Idea Gardens. And I would like in the next council meeting to recognize Waterford and to name a, a day in our city as the Waterford Day in the city of Idea Gardens. residents but for patients that have been here that have known how great this place is. Not only the food, I hear you have great food and the one thing I realized by looking at those pictures is how much weight I gained since I got elected. Um, and it's just also the level of service you get here and the, the level of care you get from the staff and the owners and the CEOs and the people that are responsible to make the operations of Waterford on a daily basis happen. And I want to thank you for that because you make my city proud. You make me proud. Anytime I go anywhere as a city of Hialeah Gardens and I hear good things about places in my city, it makes me proud. That's why I became mayor. And I went to law school after becoming mayor and became an attorney because I wanted to make sure that I was in politics for the right reasons, because I like it. In order to be an elected official, because I don't consider myself a politician, I consider myself an elected official, you have to like what you're doing. There's not a lot of money in politics, believe it or not if you're doing things right, and it's a lot of work, so you have to like it. The day that I, people don't want me in this city, the day that I don't like being a mayor anymore, I can always go and practice as an attorney. And that's why I became an attorney, because I wanted to be here for the right reasons. Not for the money, not for the title, and not for the connections. And it's funny how to be a doctor, and I know we have a doctor in the house, you have to go to med school. 
To be an attorney, you have to go to law school. But to be a mayor, you don't have to go to school. And I find that a little ironic. I think every mayor should go to uh, common sense classes because that's all it takes to be a mayor, to have common sense and life experiences and to realize that the maintenance worker is just as important as the mayor, that the police officers are just as important as the mayor, that you, our residents, are just as important as the mayor. And I think that is the main requirement you need to have to be mayor and be an elected official. And I want to say a few words in Spanish, and some of you don't. I see you looking at me with a blind look in your face. You probably don't speak English. Quiero darle las gracias por haberme honrado con este honor para mí. Es un honor que creo que no es merecido. Y digo que no es merecido porque los verdaderos héroes de nuestra comunidad, los verdaderos líderes de nuestra comunidad, son residentes de esta ciudad que trabajan a veces 12 horas al día para poder sobrevivir y que encuentran el tiempo para estar aquí hoy los hijos y las hijas y los nietos de ustedes que después de trabajar un día entero encuentran el tiempo de venir para estar al lado de ustedes que se tomaron el tiempo de tenerlos ustedes en una institución como esta que es una institución fantástica donde los empleados saben y entienden que esto no es solo un trabajo ellos tienen un impacto directo en la vida de ustedes ellos pueden hacer que la vida de ustedes sea mejor y yo creo que ellos son los verdaderos héroes de nuestra comunidad personas como María, Italia, Jesús que por cierto me dijeron que amó el puente de Amendares, aunque yo salí de Cuba de siete años, recuerdo el puente de Amendares y para mí de verdad estar en eh, la misma frase, estar el nombre mío nombrado al lado de estas personas es un verdadero honor, porque ustedes fueron la primera generación de inmigrantes, fueron los que de verdad hicieron posible que personas como yo, personas como él, pudieran ser oficiales electos, que un muchacho de 27 años, inmigrante de Cuba, de padres pobres, de padres sin conexiones, pudiera llegar a ser alcalde de una de las mejores ciudades de los Estados Unidos y de la nación más grande de este mundo. Eso solo sucede aquí, en los Estados Unidos de América. Y, y para terminar, porque quiero ser breve, porque para que un político sea breve es bastante difícil, pero voy a ser breve porque tengo otra función a las 7 y quisiera, quisiera quedarme con ustedes, pero tengo que ir a otra función desgraciadamente y no puedo quedarme más rato a comer aunque quisiera, quisiera poder hacerlo eh, quiero decirles que aunque yo hoy me he hecho miembro del de Hot de la Fama de Waterford el Waterford va a ser miembro del Hot de la Fama de la ciudad de Hialeah Gardens porque en el próximo, la próxima reunión del Consejo de la Ciudad Municipal vamos a nombrar un día de nuestra ciudad como el día de Waterford en la ciudad de Hialeah Gardens Una vez más, muchas gracias por haber honrado. Quiero que sepan que el ayuntamiento está cerca de aquí. Eh, no es solo para el departamento de quejas, también puede ir por ahí de vez en cuando a saludarme. Y eh, quiero que sepan que en mí tiene un amigo. Eh, yo creo que la mejor labor que puede hacer un funcionario público es ser parte del pueblo eh, y no es pensarse que está en otro nivel. Así que el que quiera pasar por ahí, que quiera ver, que tenga este producto, que quiero ayudar, que ha hecho para servirle. Muchas gracias verdaderamente y que Dios lo bendiga. Mayor, you said that of course we will induct you with the Hall of Fame, and you deserve it, sir. Thank you.